Krypton Element Project by Wesley Kwan. When you think of Krypton, you think of the planet, right? Well, I know you do, and too bad that planet was destroyed a long time ago. The Krypton we're talking about here is actually an element, and it is related to the rock that can hurt Superman. Krypton. The number up here is the atomic number. It represents the amount of electrons and protons the atom has. So Krypton has 36 protons and electrons. KR is the IUPAC symbol name for this element. The number under the symbol represents the atomic mass in grams per mole. And 48 neutrons here. Boiling point negative 157.2 degrees Celsius. Boiling point negative 153.4 degrees Celsius. Here's a periodic table. On the right side, group 18, period 4, there's Krypton. It's in the noble gas section, so what can the natural state be of this noble gas? Hmm. It's definitely a liquid. There's not many uses for Krypton, but one of them is in fluorescent lights. Krypton is mixed in with some other gases that don't need to mention because that's not my assignment to form a nice pretty light. Krypton is also used in flash photography. When you ionize Krypton in a Krypton-based bulb, it emits a bright white light which is perfect for high-speed photography. And lasers. Krypton, when mixed in with other doodads, can become a very beautiful and powerful laser. Krypton has a very unique and vibrant color. For proper understanding of this luscious thing, I will apply it onto the white. Wow. Isn't it awesome? Did you know Krypton is inert, meaning it engages in almost no chemical reaction? Interesting stuff right there. Oh.